In this video, we'll be installing a couple of, of WordPress sites on different virtual hosts. And uh, it seems like the most recent version of WordPress installs very similar to the way Drupal does. So uh, the first thing that you do is you get the download for WordPress. Oh, I didn't want that. And then over in File Manager, you want to dump that somewhere, which you you can do it. Uh, you can make like a user share directory for it. Um, but I'm just going to drop it right here at the top of my web server area. Alright, so we unzip. Now, um, there's two places like I'm I'm not necessarily going to keep these. I might keep the, the I might keep this one blog with westernnewyorkmathguy.com, but I'm probably not going to keep this one. This one's water cooler at outsourcemath.com. That's just to show that it works to do it for for any one of them. So um, instead of doing subdirectories, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to do it right in in the main directory so I'm going to want to make two new directories one is going to be uh, actually let's just make it a little clearer and then we'll make this one Okay, so we're going to put the, the WordPress files in both those locations. So edit, copy. And we're going to dump one of them in here. And we're going to do another one in here. And then we need, uh, over in Apache, we're going to need, uh, well, two places. We've got, we've got to create databases and user IDs for each one of those. And in Apache, we want to create the virtual host for those. So let's see, what do I want to do first? I think first I'm going to do the Apache. All right, so let's create a new virtual host and a uh, specific address, uh, port. These are both going to be Port 80 type things, document root, we want fair, double double, and which one am I working? I don't know which one I'm doing first. Let's see. I'll do them, I'll do them in the order they appear on the screen right here. Alright, so that one it's going to be called blog.wmymathguy.com and then we're going to go ahead and create it now. Fail to create such. What happened? Uh, 
sure what went wrong there, but uh, just in case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all three of these. Well, not why not all four of them? Okay, and you're all going to become the owners of. So now they're owned in a normal way for web servers. Let's try this once more. Okay, so specific address, port 80, document root. Server name. Oh, stupid! Oh, that's probably it. I had I had the HTTP in it, I think, and the slash. I, I don't think I should have the slash in either. All right, create now. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that one's in. And create another virtual host here. Almost the same thing. This one all right, create now. So we have two almost active new virtual servers. don't know if I have to modify them at all, but I am going to do one, one little thing here. Um, no, no, that's not what I'm going to do. Alright. Ah, I'm all over the board. No, 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 no. Snip. <laughs> okay, so what I would like to do is take this one and give it a couple of aliases. So. In case I forget. All right, there we go. And save, be save. Yeah, I don't know if I have to do document options on these the way this is set up. So now we want to go into here, and we're going to create a couple of things. So. going to be like that. So we're going to create a new user. Username. Password.
don't select any of the permissions in here because that set our uh, part we're in the global section and we don't the way this this interface works we don't pick them in here um, we can just be done with that and then And now that we've finished making those two users, we want to create databases for those. So I'm not 100% sure of what the what the collation of character set are for for WordPress, but I, I've got a feeling it's pretty much the same everywhere now. Everybody's catching up to each other technologically, so we're going to see how this works. And then one more database. Here's the deal. Database permissions, that's where you do the things like if if we were in MySQL or PHP my admin for MySQL, that would be a lot easier. Uh, but we're not. So we're doing it this harder way just for grins and giggles. Um, so databases user Hope that was his name. So hosts from host permissions to do, 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 do hosts we want we want ah, come on local host there and then we're basically selecting all of these so shift clicking but then we want to control click and unselect grant. So we've got, oh bloody hell, I've got to edit that, not any, selected, okay, so there we go, save. So we've got, we've got the normal set of all permissions on just that table, so any table inside blogs, this user gets to work on. So we'll create one, one more, and 
That one is finance rumors selected and our user was it again? Uh, our username was gossip. And now we want only from the local. should be perfect on the first try. Yep. All looking good there. All right, so we've got our user and da database created. So we're down to the last straw. So with that knowledge, when we what uh oh, something else I want. So so basically we're going to head a very specific page to get the ball rolling um, but I wanted to show something else oh oh yeah 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 and and I didn't I didn't re I didn't refresh Apache after I did all those things got to refresh that Apache that's very important all right so what I wanted to show you was amongst the files that went into your new spots. One of them is this readme HTML. That's very handy to open and because it's a plain HTML file you can open it without um, you can open it without uh, affecting your WordPress install. So Let's just go in here and go slash v and that page should open so this is some information that's just hiding right inside there uh, one of the things that i noticed was uh, they they instruct you exactly how to do it after this is almost exactly what i did but so except they're relying on you know default and you being a, a single wordpress site but uh, they give you uh, some some handy details here and then there's uh, somewhere I saw uh, let me see where was it just looking at that link last night but there was something about there was something about importing oh there it is importing from a number of systems so over here on the wordpress.org they tell you how to bring in uh, your your external blogs from a bunch of different sources um, into a WordPress site. So that's that's pretty handy. And I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm I am going to take my blogger things and move them over to my own personal server. Um, so that just uh, a little tidbit, but. But they're the page that you hit first to get the whole ball rolling is this. There's the folder WP admin update core PHP. So WP admin and then uh, wherever it is, however far along the directory list it is. But uh, so this. This should start us on our journey to creating a WordPress site. And uh, database name, username, password, host. Okay.
Alright, and there's one running, so let's see how easy it goes with the second one. There it is. So we're continuing, let's go. And there you have it. A WordPress site up and running. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to do anything to configure this WordPress because I have it in a long time and I don't care that much about it. So <laughs> that's how that's how we do WordPress. And um, oops. Oh, because I haven't created. 
Yeah, it's because I haven't created uh, anything in it yet. I haven't built uh, I haven't built the site yet. It's still throwing in the old thing, I think. Let's see what happens. If we do this and then we go reload. Oh, okay, there it is. Alright, so it's a pretty ordinary thing going on there. Default, default. Alright, WordPress done.